I've got something interesting going on and I wanted to share it. These ones here in the straw bale I've been calling a violet sparkle. I don't think they are. And I've got some just like these out in the main garden. Let's go out there and take a look at those. Actually, they're a little bit different, but not a whole lot. You can see they're getting the purple. But what I did is the other day, when I was out here just for the heck of it, I took one of these and just tasted it. And it's not a sweet pepper, it's a hot pepper. And I don't have any other type that are similar. And I'm thinking it must be a cross with a violet sparkle. I'm thinking this one here is supposed to be a violet sparkle and it, it looks more like the pictures I've seen online. But even those are a little bit more uh, slender than these. But I haven't tasted one in the straw bill, so I'm going to go do that right now. We can go get over there just to see if it's hot also. Let me pull one of those off. There's that one. <coughs> That's hot. I get that sweet bell taste at first. It's making my eyes water just a hair. But <coughs> That's even hotter than the one out in the garden. Excuse me. So what I have is um, some purple hot peppers that were totally unexpected. The violet sparkle is supposed to be a sweet pepper. Uh, excuse me. A little hotter than I expected. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to pick one of these. I don't know if I'll be able to tell if it's hot now, but I'm going to taste this one. I get well, I'm going to have to wait until another time because my mouth is kind of uh, hot from the other pepper. But as far as I can tell, I'm not getting any heat from this one. But I'm going to let my uh, mouth cool off and then I'll taste another one of these just to see if I'm getting any heat. But the best I can tell, my seed supplier that I got the seeds from somehow had a one of their violet sparkles crossed with a hot pepper and that's what produced this one and the one in the straw bale so I have a, a hybrid pepper I'm thinking that uh, this one is got less purple than the one in the straw bale so I will definitely be saving seeds from the one in the straw bale just to see what I can come up with. But uh, it was kind of an interesting surprise, uh, especially that first one I tasted. And that one in the straw bale is even hotter, so <laughs> I'm not a hot pepper person, but it really had some spice to it. But I just wanted to share what was happening because I'd call that one a violet sparkle and it obviously is not now that I've tasted one but it's kind of a cool hybrid I've never seen a larger 
purple hot pepper. If you know one out there uh, that looks anything like this, let me know. Maybe it was a mix-up, but the seed supplier, I checked out their website again, and they didn't have anything that looked anything like this in their hot peppers. So I'm guessing it's a hybrid, but uh, please share your thoughts if you have uh, any thoughts on what it could be or might be. But I just wanted to share this and let you know that these are not violet sparkles. I guess I'll just call these a mystery hybrid from now on. But I will save seeds just to see what happens next year. I, I don't know what they'll produce then, but we'll have to wait and see. Now I'm going to go get a drink of water. Here we are the next day and I'm going to take a taste of one of these now that I've had plenty of time for my mouth to settle down see if these have any heat at all and they do not so I think this is what a violet sparkle is supposed to be like. And the others, I'm pretty sure, are hybrids of some sort. What they are exactly, I'm not sure, but it'll be interesting to see what happens when I save seeds. But I just wanted to share this and let you know that what I've been calling a violet sparkle is not a violet sparkle. It's something else. Hopefully we can kind of figure out something next year when I grow out the seeds. But if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.